are we the product of sheer luck? Coincidence. A coincidence that your grandmother met your grandfather. They had a child. That child grew up, was a son, and married your mother. They had a child. You. And you've worked your way through life, t making millions of decisions, facing trillions of coincidences, which have led you to this meeting here, right now. Is that all luck? Or is there someone or something higher than all of this looking over us all? That every now and then offers us a helping hand. As I discovered high up in the French Alps back in 2005, Rob and I loved skiing. We loved the mountains, the tranquility, the beauty, the serenity. It was like being dropped into your own picture postcard. And this particular day, the wind was howling, a gown was blowing, the temperature was falling, and light fading. Rob was angry with me because we'd become lost. We was high up on a glacier. We'd been skiing off piste for most of the day. I knew it, Greeny. I knew it. You've, you've, you've got us lost. We should have took that pathway back there. Rob, just keep calm. I know this is the right way. This is the path. Let's go down this way. Oh, not another one of these wild goose chases. I skied off round an outcrop of rock and suddenly the whole mountain opened up before me. I dropped over the edge and began zigzagging my way down, spraying huge plumes of ice and snow left and right. And suddenly I thought, I'm, my momentum's going, I'm going to fall. I pulled up sharp and took in lungfuls of icy oxygen. I looked behind me, where was Rob? He wasn't there. I looked left, I looked right. What was the way, Richard? And then a huge area of white snow, beautiful powder, lay before me. There was a short couloir which led to this valley. Without regard for Rob or myself, I, I just dropped over the edge and began skiing this beautiful powder, carving wonderful arcs left and right and spraying sprays of snow above me. This was my nirvana. It was heaven on earth. Wow, yippee. Then out of nowhere, I heard crack. The loudest crack filled the valley. I pulled up sharp and looked behind me, fully expecting thousands of tons of snow to come crashing down upon me. I thought I triggered an avalanche. Nothing, just eerie silence. I couldn't see Rob, Rob, where are you? I moved forward, slowly, about five metres, and looked over a shelf. I'd skied onto a shelf. Suddenly, there was hundreds of feet drop below me. No, I turned and I was like a terrified gerbil, scrabbling at the snow trying to get out, but my feet were buried. I unclipped my boot and ski, and took my ski off and tried pulling myself up to get onto a ledge. After a few metres, inches at a time, I managed to get back to a, a shelf and clip my skis back on. I looked in the distance and saw an ant. It was Rob, he was sidestepping his way back up the ascent. I had to do the same. Slowly but surely, and in complete darkness, I got to safety. Rob was waiting. You're a madman, Greeny. I'm never following you again. You nearly killed me. And he skied off. I skied behind him, and we eventually got to safety. 
at the bottom of the mountain. We sat at the restaurant contemplating the severity of what had just happened. Rob was right. I nearly killed him. We, I, I took Rob on those pathways. I led Rob to that point. They were all my decisions. They wasn't coincidences. They were my choices. But the cracking sound, if I hadn't heard that, I would have skied into oblivion and took Rob with me. We are the choices and decisions and a product of the pathways we've taken in life. And sometimes you find yourself off of a safe path into danger and you're afraid and you're alone. If you have faith, just trust that out there, there is someone looking out for you. Mr. Toastmaster.